crankshaft uh, bore drilling, a very innovative, time-saving, money-saving. Can you chat a bit about that for us, please? Yes, we believe it's quite a unique system. It's a system that been, the India's been, been calling for. And as I said previously, you know, it's a safe system and it gives you access to vertical access to your body, anything from 10 meters to 14 meters, and you can go up to depths of 2,000 meters. And you're talking 28% uh, saving millions of rands a year. How exactly are, is that possible? Because if, if you go the conventional way of access, accessing your body, a 1,000 meter shaft, for example, will take you about three years to do. With this system, we can actually bring that accessing time cut by half, so we can do that in 18 months. So instead of getting your project in steady state, we bring that steady state forward by 18 months, and it increases your, your, your MPV benefit tremendously. And the level of R&D and innovation that goes into this, this project? Uh, there's a fair level of R&D, especially that what we have on surface, the river on surface itself. Down the hole, we've actually combined systems in the industry that works, we just put that together. So there's still some innovation and there's still some work to be done for the system in the next couple of months. And a uh, bigger big expansion from Master Drilling, the Scandinavian merger, American um, interest for you guys? Yeah, it's quite important to us, you know, that we that we expand as far as our geographical footprint is concerned. Scandinavia and actually Europe offers that as well as as well as the United States, and we see a real market in the United States as well. And what key opportunities do you see in those two regions? As far as Scandinavia and Europe is concerned, we believe there's some real race for opportunities, not only in the mining industry, but also in the infrastructure for the railway tunnels and the hydroelectric schemes. We see that in Europe. And in America, we see more in the mining industry with the reverse circulation really. And we're seeing more, more, more things done by remote control. How does that increase time saving and, and safety factors? I think it's essential that we move that way. I think that's the way the industry is going. You now take your people away from at-risk uh, work. And by doing it remote control and designing your system such, you're achieving that 100%. Also, also a lot of growth here in China. Can you talk about that relationship? Yes, we have a facility, an office in China, or a company in China rather, that we do our manufacturing, our procurement through. And we've been trying now to access the market and we believe uh, there's some opportunity in China as well, for the race boring specifically. Absolutely. What sets you apart from your competition? I think it's important that uh, we have control over our cost base because we not only design our machines, we also manufacture them. And also the cutters and the drill pipes. We manufacture them in South Africa and also in China. And we also do procurement through our Chinese office. So we believe we, the fact that we can control our cost in such a way sets us apart from the competition. A lot of talk about beneficiation. You guys are actually doing it in your company? No, no, we're not doing it. No, I mean, you, you, you're making it in South Africa. It's, it's kind of more of a homegrown product. Than a oh, yes, 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 obviously. Yeah, no, it's all, all put together here in South Africa. And, uh, you know, if we get the, the tender process going properly, we'll be able to make an award of the successful supply by the middle of this year. Uh, presumably you've got some, some customers who have shown interest in, in, in the technology? We have. We have, especially now after they actually can see what the concept looks like and you know, how practical it is. And we believe there's some real application for it and we've actually lined up quite a number of interviews. So we believe we'll be able to, to convince clients to go this way. And the level of school with, the skill within South Africa and the engineering side of things, uh, so there's still a lot of good talent to draw upon in South Africa? We believe there's definitely some talent to draw on. You know, this is a very uh, engineering operation with, with hydraulics and mechanicals and electrical engineering. We believe the skill is here, but through our network and our footprint, we can also have access to skills outside of South Africa, but the main base will still be here. And Africa is another talking point, uh, the growth points for there in 2016? Absolutely, we've had a number of queries from, from clients and, and from the, you can hear from the mining in Darwin that talks as well. We foresee growth in, in East Africa as well as West Africa. Absolutely, and great to be the mining in Darwin. Your, your expectations for this year's event? Uh, you know, this created a lot of hype for us and uh, that's the best venue and best event to actually launch a product uh, to the mining industry, especially in Africa. And it's been, it's met our expectations definitely. And finally, full mechanization of mines, uh, when, would we, when would that be a reality? I think, you know, the mining industry is now forced to do that and it's driven from the top. So I believe we'll see quite an uptick in the, in the mechanization. When that will be fully realized, you can tell. Great stuff. Thanks for your time, Thank you. sir. Thank you very much.